bruh. Oh my gosh, she just gonna keep her drugged. Oh lord. Hello everybody, this is Katharina Raven, also known as Craven. I'm a filmmaker who loves music videos. Melanie Martinez fans, you guys are in my comments all the time trying to get me caught up and here I am. I want to get caught up with you. I'm really excited because as a filmmaker, hopefully I'll be able to see the progression of the production value as she's made videos. And as a viewer, I'm excited to know more about her, listen to her music, try to see the story that you guys have been telling me so much about. So let's go. The very first video by Millie Martinez is Cry Baby. So pale. Looks like a little porcelain doll. I already know this is not going to be good. Oh, shoot. The production quality is actually really good. Got some nice tracking, probably on a steady cam when the camera's moving slow back like that. Slider. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is going to be really messed up, y'all. The production of the design is like really clean, really simple. Oh no. <gasps> I just it's not the pinata. It's just like a pinata. Okay. That's a nice shot. This is so creepy. Oh my gosh, why are eyes so creepy? Oh my gosh, ah, there goes the title. So I've seen Dollhouse, so I, I kind of know this might be her mom and her brother. I know they hint, she's hinted at her mom being like an addict with all the drinking, so I'm wondering. Okay, this, it's gotta be her. Oh my god! These intros, man. Ooh. Let me turn this up. Wow, this is a really nice debut music video. Mmm, yeah, I see some of the alcoholism. Oh, I look at the lighting right here. This looks like a really nice, bright, mimicking natural light that would come through the window when it's sunny outside. Props. There goes the mom and her drinking. That wig is atrocious. <laughs> Her sad face is really cute. <laughs> Where did they get an adult sized high chair? Ooh. Ooh, fun. Love that. Some visual effects. Or it could be some actual puppeting. I'm not sure if this is practical or digital. 
Probably a bit of both, maybe. Nice. I love that little gap in her teeth. So cute. This is actually a really high production value video. I'm guessing when she was debuting, the label actually had some money in front of her, so they probably put a lot of money into this initial video. Because the next video, Dollhouse, I feel like the quality is a little bit below this. Wow. Smart using that latex dress when she's got this water coming down her. I love the juxtaposition of this scene. This story is so sad and it's dark. But again, we got this lighting. Look at this visual effects. Nice, nice water. Mm hmm. Drowning in her tears. Wow. So, like I was saying, I love the juxtaposition between this really, really dark story and the concept is dark, but the lighting is really high key. It's really bright. And I think sometimes we have the tendency that if the story's dark, we make the visuals dark. So this is really nice. You could see everything. The room is very well lit. I love all the toys, the props, the pastels. Very beautiful, very simple, clean, some hints of visual effects. So now the next video is Dollhouse, which I've already seen with you. If you've already seen me do the dollhouse reaction, you can skip to the next chapter. This one has a really cool intro as well. I'm really surprised that this video came after the first one. But actually someone in my comments was saying that Melanie and her friends produced this video on their own, which is phenomenal if this is made by people who aren't, you know, quote unquote filmmakers or they didn't have a really big budget. Beautiful little miniature. Same exact wallpaper I'm noticing. Hey girl, open the walls, play with your dolls. We'll be a perfect family. When you walk away, it's when we really play. You I get this song stuck in my head all the time ever since I did that review. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Love that necklace with the babies, baby hands. Mm, I actually didn't notice that bunny the first time. Look at that giant floor lamp. Beautiful. I love how she's made that two-tone hair a part of her branding. Because when someone told me about Melanie Martinez, I was like, oh yeah, that woman with the two-tone hair, like immediately that was the image that came to mind. So it's really smart on her branding ideas. They always put mom in the craziest blonde wigs. Wow. 
I don't know why, but when I first watched this, I literally thought that the girl was like gonna trash the dollhouse because her face looked like angry sad. But then she started smiling and I was like, oh, okay. It's a good visual effects shot there. Obviously they had to composite Melanie with the actual footage of the girl. Hey girl. I was like, how did she get in there? Why is she in there? We need to get this baby out. She don't belong in there. We don't want her in this world. It's a toxic place to get the baby out. Creepy. I would have nightmares. <laughs> can never move these squares out of the way. Beautiful. Again, I've already did a review on this, but I love how the sets are so clean and so monochromatic, really giving dollhouse vibes. I love that giant dollhouse that they make at the very end. Okay, her third video is called Sippy Cup. There's that wallpaper again, so she's still in the dollhouse. Mmm. Mmm. Oh gosh. Man, her mom must have been a really terrible person. Mm. Ooh, this is a nice shot. So now the production value went right back up again. Definitely had a budget behind this video. So it seems like she's speaking from her mom's perspective as well. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. She really is being very, very vulnerable in her music, and I appreciate that. Wow. Oh my gosh, mom, what are you gonna do? Ooh. I mean, shouldn't be cheating. Mm. That was a good performance right there. Oops. But now we gotta clean up our mess, man. I love this shot. Such a wide angle lens making that hallway look so cool. Uh oh. Oh lord. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, she's really acting. Look at that. Wow. Oh! Mom! Oh my gosh. Bruh. 
Oh my gosh, she just gonna keep her drugged. Oh lord. <laughs> my my stress levels is high, y'all. <laughs> if you love watching these videos with me, please make sure that you subscribe. Okay, the next video is Alphabet Boy. I'm wondering if this is gonna be about her brother. Maybe he's gonna come into play. Also really good production value. Those real? <gasps> Those are real. Love that. Oh. That pink lighter. Like some pretentious dude. <laughs> Look at that pink gun. So you could tell they're shooting right here. Her movement is slow, but her lip sync is on time. So how you do that is when you're shooting, you make the soundtrack quick. So it's not like and she has to lip sync to the sped up version of the song. And so when they take that slow motion shot and they stretch it out, she'll be lip syncing with the like duration of the actual song. It's hilarious. But that's what's going on here where you could see her movements feel so smooth. Yeah, really simple set. They're just using this huge white cycle and really specific, precise props like the box, the high chair. We had the gun, the lighter. Very simple, very clean. I love the sing-along too. The graphics makes it really fun and interactive. That's so funny. She said apples aren't always an appropriate apology. In Korean, you can say apples as sagwa, and you can also say apologies as sagwa. So that was funny. Kind of weird. I'm learning Korean, by the way. I love that little hand placement into the shot. I think another great thing about having the the like sing along graphics is that you can actually see the wordplay happening with her using the alphabet because I really wouldn't have noticed without the graphics. Oh my gosh. Love this shot. Definitely a wide angle lens, looking down, bird's eye shot. Oh, that's like a fridge. She's so spunky. There again, slow motion. <laughs> Interesting because that was the same type of knife that her mother used in the last video. When you have videos this simple, oh, I love how the fridge is small now. 
When you have videos this simple, you have to really, really have good performance and good camera work, and that's exactly what they have here. And also great production design with the set decoration team, the huge blocks, and like I said, all the props. Very fun, very interesting, lots to look at, I love it. Okay, so far all of her videos have really high production value. I'm super excited about this next video. It is a double feature. It is called Soap slash Training Wheels Double Feature. Let's get into it. I'm like, is this a bathtub? Is it like a photo, photo room? That red creepy lighting? Well, if she's in it, I guess it's a bathtub. I'm slow. So eerie. Okay. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. Uh-oh. Love that lighting coming through that window. It just looks very cinematic. And almost kind of like inviting in like a really creepy way. Like, come into here where the light is, please, Johnny. I think I just remembered Ooh. something. I think I left the fire set running. Mm -mm. Now my words are filling up the top. I love all the vintage decor. Darling, you're just soaking in it. But I know you'll get out the minute. You notice all your fingers pruning up. I'm tired mm. of being careful, tempted, try. That lighting, that blinky light is just so eerie. It's definitely giving horror film vibes. And then we got this high contrast of like her with these roses and it's like high key bright lighting. I love all the different makeup looks she's always trying. Creepy. Cool editing right there. Doing that same motion in reverse. Oh. Oh, Johnny. There he goes. It's another example of shooting in slow motion and then putting it in real time. There's Johnny, man. Oh, and he's still here. Okay, Johnny's a trooper. good insert shots and insert shots are any footage that adds to like the a footage which a footage would be like her performing or him in the tub those little just shots just add to the vibe of the story and just keep the audience engaged yeah this is cool too I also love when those bubbles are coming out of her mouth. Oh! Great editing. Ooh, 
creepy. Oh, you can like hear the sound of her blinking. Love that. Oh my God, what just happened? Is she choking him? Wait, I gotta go back a little bit. No, they're just looking at each other. Oh my God. Okay, part two. <gasps> Love her hair. Mmm, now we got a location. We've been indoor pretty much every single video thus far, so it's nice to kind of see some outdoor footage. Nice, nice, super wide shot. That blurriness shows that they probably have some sort of special, like, lens. Oh, why do you poke them like that, girl? I love that he still has baby doll makeup too. Those nice blush little cheeks. Again, another video where we got that contrast of something really bright, almost sunny, but the content is actually very dark. Imagine the cameraman just spinning with each person. <laughs> mm. Makes sense. Taking the training wheels off. Okay, you can do it now. like she's maybe been in a toxic relationship where she was like the one doing all the caring the loving trying to help elevate this person oh I love that they both have blue bows Oh, there are her eyes going again. Wow. Even from the side, too. Oh my gosh, he just disappeared. What? Hold up. Wait a second. Mmm, nice. So I'm guessing what they did for that shot is they did this from the same same angle twice, once with her in it, once with him in it. Then you composite those both on top of each other and then they probably rode it around the guy and then like pulled him out slowly. Or that's how I would have did it. Interesting. Why did he disappear? Was he never there? Or did he vanish? Ah. I'm wondering if it's like one of those relationships you'd give your all and then you get them to the place where they are elevated and then they disappear on you. Can't say that's not relatable. Okay, friend, this has been part one of the Melanie Martinez Marathon part one. Please come back. I want to keep watching. Keep watching with me and I will see you in the next video.